Okay, hi everyone. It's great to be here. Um, we are PhotoMind. I'm Natalie, I'm one of the founders and I'm in charge of design at the company. And uh, with me is Mickey, he's our head of marketing. Uh, PhotoMind deals with preserving memories. Uh, but before we start talking about PhotoMind, I'd like to talk about the past and how we used to save our memories in the past. And by that, I'm talking about photographs. I think we all remember the Kodak slogan, a Kodak moment. And it wasn't that long ago that we used to buy film and print photos. And the photos we took were, were of real uh, memories with meaning. And this is as opposed to digital photos today. So these precious memories were kept in albums or shoe boxes, and then we used to keep them, uh, store them in closets or attics, and they weren't accessible anymore. I mean, we hardly took these out to look at them again. Um, now, with digital photos, this is very different. We're used to seeing digital photos every day online and in social media. And it's interesting to look at the Facebook timeline and see how there's a huge gap between the year someone was born, let's say 79, and the year they just started to post photos, and that's 2007, pretty much. So there's a huge gap between the time we were born and the time we used to post photos, and this gap contains so many memories and photos that don't appear anywhere. It's as if they never really existed. So at PhotoMine, uh, we thought of these hundreds of millions of photos just lying around, uh, unusable, and we wanted to make them accessible again to their owners and to the world. So we created a scanner app designed especially for scanning photographs, and we knew this app had to have the high-end technology. It had to be the fastest and easiest to use uh, for people to actually use it and scan the photos they have in their houses. This uh, typically contains hundreds or maybe thousands of photos in a household or a family. So let's see how PhotoMind works. Okay, so um, Mickey has with him an album from 1982. Um, let's see the photos. These are actually photos of Mickey's wife and her sister when they were just babies. And let's see how Mickey scans the album. So we'll just take a photo of the album page. Now you see the app detects each photo and crops it automatically. And then it applies a color filter to restore the fading colors, this brownish tint. Now our uh, app is based on machine learning. This means we have our own neural network which we trained with millions of photos uh, with different uh, albums and backgrounds, different uh, uh, photo um, sizes, types, and color schemes. So our app can pretty much handle any kind of album you give it to scan. Now Mickey can take photos of, uh, of more and more album pages. Uh, in just a few minutes, we can have a whole album scanned and digitized. So let's stop now and see what happens when we save these photos. We just click the save button and boom, I have a digital um, album. I, I scan it just minutes. Now these photos are digital. I can um, use them as any digital photo. I can browse them, add details, I can share it. I can even um, print photo books of these uh, photos and have more copies of the single original album. Now we know these photos don't belong only to Mickey and his wife, they belong to her sister, to her parents, to each one in the family. So we created a family site feature. This means in just one click, we create a family site with all the photos the user just scanned and they're automatically online on his own domain. So each one of the family members can go inside, uh, look at the photos, add more photos of themselves and add comments. Okay, maybe uh, my mother remembers more about this picture than I do, so she can add the story to it. Another interesting feature we have is called the Discover Feed. Uh, this is kind of our long-term vision. We have so many photos in our system that our users agree to share with the community. So um, we're creating a huge archive of historical photos. And these are all indexed. So you can go inside and search uh, a photo from history from any location or year. 
So potentially, you can find pictures from your neighborhood, from your school, maybe pictures from family members you've never seen before. And this is a work in progress. Uh, as more people contribute to this project, it will be bigger uh, and richer. So that's it, actually. You're invited to our booth. We're presenting here in the growth area. And try out PhotoMind for yourselves. Thank you. Thank you very much. So you, you're really dealing only with photos, or do you have any video as well? Well, currently, the app is designed to deal with uh, old photos. That's what our training, our uh, algorithm is trained to do. Uh, because um, the real magic of it is separating a photo from its background. Um, so we enable scanning whole album pages really quick, and the algorithm just takes them out of the album. Um, going forward, we do want to be a hub for all the memories of a family, so this contains also videos and also uh, contemporary photos. So everything is uh, kept in one place. Okay. So let's see what your questions are from the audience. Do we have some questions? Yes. Okay. How good of a camera do I need on my device? And what are the requirements? So pretty much uh, most mobile devices we have today are good enough uh, to, to use our, um, um, our app. And we're working on uh, opening more and more Android uh, older device uh, for this algorithm. But I guess pretty much each um, uh, device you use will be working okay. fine. So the average smartphone is going to work exactly. with this? Exactly, okay. yeah. OK. Uh, well, and the same question I had, <laughs> if you have About any plans videos. for video. So um, do we really want all of our old pictures in the cloud and on Facebook? Private memories should be private. Well, they can certainly be kept private. Um, every photo that is distributed to the world is only if the user decides he wants to do so and contribute to this huge puzzle of history. But we um, uh, accept, uh, of course, every photo is automatically private, and he can decide to share it with his family alone or just himself. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Digitizing is also just backing up the data and keeping it from uh, you know, uh, disintegrating. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, another good question uh, we had is, uh, it's gone now, but how many countries are you in? That was an earlier question, and, and a good uh, one. About 200 countries. Wow. Okay. Our app is um, localized to 18 um, languages, and we see this need all around the world. It's, it's great to see how pictures and memories look the same all around the world. Okay. And uh, another good question here about Adobe. What's to stop Adobe from coming up with something like this, and how do you differentiate? Well, it's uh, apparently not that trivial to have technology that separates a photo from its background. Um, we um, uh, built our own algorithm, and we have two patents written. We work with the uh, Israeli um, um, Institute of Science, one of the best in Israel. So it's not that trivial, and I don't see Adobe having that yet. Uh, another very good question about copyrights. Um, do the photographers sign a release? And you know, how are you handing copyright regulation? So the photos scanned are completely private. I mean, the, the users decide uh, voluntarily if they want to share it with the community and if they want to upload it to the cloud. As long as they don't, it's kept on their device. It's totally local. Uh, and what's your revenue model? How do you earn money? Well, we have a subscription model. Uh, the app is free. But um, if you want to unlock the utility to more advanced features and have uh, a cloud access and uh, use our web interface, you pay uh, a subscri subscription. OK. And how do you sell it? I guess that's the last question we have here. Uh, on, on the app stores, it's, uh, it's available on uh, Google Play, on the um, Apple App Store, and, our, and on our uh, website to get it via web. All right, well, I think that's all the questions we had, so thank you very much. Thank Good you luck. so much.